God's word is out to bless you. Amen. Stay tuned to your daily grace inspiration message on feeding on Jesus International. Our reading Bible verse for today is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. And the word read, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Amen. Brethren, in the early church, whenever the word of God was preached, there were miracles of salvation, healings, and other signs and wonders. The demon possessed were set free, the paralyzed jumped up and walked, people received their loved ones back from dead. I believe with all I believe with all my heart that we are truly coming to the place where as the word of God goes forth, it produces the, the very effect that the word promises. So if the word on healing goes forth, know that healing is already exploding in your body. Your miracle has already happened very often. As, as you are reading the word on your own or listening to anointing, anointed preaching of the word, you, you will feel God's peace and joy and feel faith springing up in your heart. So always test for anointed preaching. Always test for the true gospel. As the word goes forth and you find that you are strengthened to receive your miracle, that is the time to say, Lord, I receive my healing right now. Lord, I receive my miracle right now. That is the time to say, I receive your restoration for my marriage. That is the time to say, I receive Lord, your breakthrough for my finances. So constantly look for the true gospel. Look out for Christ-centered or Jesus-centered sermons. Not sermons that point you to yourself, but sermons that point you to Christ. Brother, you don't have to wait until a church leader or friend prays for you. Your every time... Your faith is strengthened when listening to the preached word or the word of God. Anytime you feel strengthened, as you hear the word, release it through your mouth to receive your miracle. Of God's word is out to bless you. Because God's word is out to bless you. Anytime God's word is preached or goes forth, it is it comes forth to bless you. So anytime you listen to it, and feel strengthened in the spirit or feel touched or inspired by the spirit open up your mouth and claim that miracle and receive claim and receive the miracle you are waiting for that is when you release your power to receive your blessings so always look out for the gospel the good news it isn't all sermons are that are the good news the good news is all pointing you to Christ and his finished work. Telling you that because Christ has perfectly accomplished the finished work on your behalf, or because Christ took all your sins at the cross, you are made righteous. That is why we call it good news. That is the good news. So if you listen to sermons that point you to yourself, that demand that you dig inside yourself and see the death in you or the filth in you, that is not the gospel or the good news. The good news is for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The gospel is by faith. Who, whosoever believes in Jesus Christ will not perish but have everlasting life. How long is everlasting? 
Yes, that is the good news. And that thing preached. Aside Christ and his finished work and how perfect and or and how right or how righteous you are because of Christ's finished uh, Christ's finished work, then that is not the gospel. Question again. Any someone you hear that encouraging you that now you have the right standing with God because of Christ and his finished work. That is the good news. And remember, this free righteousness, free gift of eternal life is not for all. It is for only the believers, only those who accept Christ as their personal savior. The free gift of righteousness, the free gift of eternal life and salvation is not for all. It's not for churchgoers. Neither is it for pastors. Anyone who trusts in Jesus Christ and his finished work. Anyone who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Who came to die for his sins at the cross. Who took his place at the cross. Who became sin at the cross. And through his death, burial and resurre resurrection. All his sins are put away. And Christ's righteousness imputed to him is a believer that is the good news good the good news is all by faith all is done is complete your responsibility in the gospel as a believer is what believe and then subscribe to my youtube channel and receive your daily grace inspirations also um share this video and bless the soul remember you are empowered to succeed in christ shalom Bye-bye. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.